Walters Mode LLC here. In this video, I'm going to go over on my process on what I do at the end of the year when moment season is coming close to ending and whenever uh, the falling season comes back up and kind of what I do to prepare for the season and stuff like that. So, for example, like this year, we're kind of close, coming close to ending. So what I like to do is I like to go through all my accounts and kind of see where we're at on overall and you know, how many accounts we start out the year with and then how, how many we ended with and just kind of see it and also look back on what we you know excel at, what we didn't excel at, we didn't do so great on. Okay, so I can set up goals for the following year and also look back on you know the goals I set for this year. Did I you know reach them? Did I accomplish them? Or did I come close or did I you know stuff like that? And for me, example, I do have still some fall clamp and stuff and do in the wintertime a little bit. So I mean it's gonna be a little bit busier this year than it has in the past. So that's that's definitely great news. We're improving on that part in the fall. Um, and then whenever the next season comes along, when it gets close to say around February and March, I kind of see where we're at and see accounts we have in total, I kind of see where we're at and uh, see where how much more work I want to take on as a, on accounts wise in total and kind of see and also then set up goals for the season and then call some message a lot of the customers and get, you know, especially if it's businesses and stuff like that, uh, set up, you know, the, the plans for the following year for the year and talk to them, you know, kind of go over things, the plans for the year, and, you know, and just, that, those are the main ones I do talk to is the businesses because sometimes, you know, businesses, they do have change managers. They do change owners from time to time. So sometimes that does happen. So you just got to discuss the plans and, you know, introduce yourself, especially if it's a new manager and stuff like that. But overall, like I said, that that's kind of my, how I go over things and how I do stuff from, you know, end of the season and then start of the, the next season. And then just, you know, I, and I'm not saying I put it like a checklist down on the goals. I don't, I don't write them down. They're kind of just, Thing, the goals that I have planned for the other, I don't ever write them down really for me because I'm, I'm, I'm still a small business, so I'm not like, and I only have a few people that's helping out. So, but for the most part, that's kind of just how I do it. Um, you know, you can do your own way on it, especially if you're, you know, in the lawn care industry or if you're in a different business. Now, of course, if you're in a different business and it, you know it's not seasonal like the you know, mowing and stuff like that, then you'll have a lot of different concepts. You'll probably just have to do like a, a yearly one, like see where you're at each year and kind of go from there. And one thing about it also, the other thing is, uh, I'd like to go over this video is, you know, there's times you will get burnt out doing this stuff sometimes, especially whenever you're just, you seem like you're constantly working. And you know, how do you, how do you stay motivated doing it? You just gotta, you gotta push through it. There's sometimes it's like, there's there's sometimes I do question, like, do I wanna continue to do this? I'm not gonna lie, there's sometimes I do do ask myself that. Do I, how much longer do I wanna do this? Do I can continue to do this? And, but, but then whenever I get, you know, at the end of the year, I look back on what, what I've built from scratch it makes you very proud of you know where I start at to where I'm at now. It's definitely something that each business owner probably goes through at some point in time. They question on if they want to continue to do it because sometimes it does get uh, it does get crazy. You're constantly busy, constantly working, constantly doing something. And there's some days it's like you just you just want to sit home and just just sit at home and relax and not do anything for like a week. So you're just you're you're, you're exhausted and you're worn out, but. When you push through and then you get to the other side of that the other side of it which i mean that's the one thing i do like about the industry i'm in with the mowing part is you do have that winter break i mean i, I yeah i give them grant i'm going to be doing some stuff in the fall but it's not nearly as busy as during the mowing season where it's like you know, every week you know boom 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 like i can plan out the the cleanups and stuff like that i can plan those out you know here and there it's not like i'm having to come back over there you know the next I mean, couple weeks or a week later to redo the same thing over, you know, do the same thing again, you know, which I mean, uh, that is the one good thing about that, you know, in the mowing season is it's repetitive. So it's, you know, it's a constant, you know, constant money flow coming in during those, during those times. And it, it's great to have that repeat service, but sometimes you want to get a break from time to time. Everybody, everybody deserves a break and get, you know, a little vacation or, you know, a break from a break from the, uh, the grind. I mean, you, you, sometimes you do need a break from the grind. I mean, it, it just, take a step back and kind of just just to give yourself some you, you got to have that little, little break in there so if you don't you're gonna you're gonna wear yourself down really bad but anyways um like i said if you guys have any ideas for any more videos or you have any questions then you know comment below um uh, but like and subscribe to the channel i'm really trying to grow this uh channel to at least 50 subscribers by next year hopefully i'm gonna keep doing videos so i'll probably do another video this week just to kind of make up for it um but like i said if you have any ideas or any videos you want me to kind of any uh any uh, topics you want me to talk about, you know, about lawn care, just, you know, 
your business in general, you know, comment below and I'll try to do a video on it for you guys. But thank you.